Lots of other great stories in this field as well. Centrowitz, of course, very much a local favorite, but he's joined by former teammate Andrew Weeding, who represented the U.S. in the 800 meters. The tall Andrew Weeding with the green on towards the back of the field right now, represented the U.S. in 800 meters in Beijing. And now surges and another Oregon him. Duck, Jordan McNamara, moves out to take the early lead in this 1,500-meter final. So White lots of talk before shorts. the start of this. Yes, I met with several of these athletes the over the last few days, including in Will Lear, who's in second field. place in right now. now these are guys who do not have the qualifying time for London, and they said, we're going to work together, we're going to run a fast pace, we're going to get that qualifying time in this race. That way, if we finish in the top three, we get to go to London. McNamara is one of those athletes who needs that qualifying time. Who's going with him, Henry Here are the Williams athletes that have the London A standard at 1,500 meters. On the East Coast, Anyone else would have to achieve it in this race. Jordan McNamara is out in front. Will Lear is in second. Centrowitz in third. Leo Manzano is fourth. Then John Mikowski in fifth. And Andrew Weeding starting to move up from sixth place. We see Lear taking lead now. That was the deal. One of them would lead for the first lap. Somebody would try to take it all the way to 900 meters, meaning they'd have a lap and a half to go. Now, Centrowitz and Manzano in third and fourth, they have the A standard, and they're in perfect position. In fact, this, this kind of pace is friendly to them. They can just tuck in on the inside, follow easily, and Centrowitz in third place, he always looks good. Lear leads McNamara, Centrowitz. Then Angles, here comes Alexander Henry Wynn in there. And uh, making a move here, John Mikowski in the gold and black. Two laps remaining. Mikowski was supposed to be part of that group that would help push the pace. And you saw Centrowitz get stuck on the inside for a minute when Mikowski went by. He just simply stepped outside and got right back into the right place. Number five on his hip in the all black, Matthew Centrowitz, his father, former American record holder at 5,000 meters. And it's Centrowitz who won the, won the bronze medal last year in Daegu. Always seems to put himself in the right position at the right time. And you notice how he stepped so out in front when it looked like somebody would go out, out and go outside of him. Mikowski uh, takes the lead and Centrowitz goes the with him. In the NCAA now it's Lear and McNamara after that. So the pace the has slipped now. This will not be a third fast third race. It's going to be one of those championship races where position is everything. And the guy moving around on the outside on the left of your screen, Manzano, always puts himself in a good position. Torrance right ahead of him has been the hot guy on the circuit this year, and it looks like Torrance is going to try to move up as they come to a lap to go. There's the final lap, and Matt Centrowitz now takes over the lead. So Centrowitz is in front, but Torrance there. McNamara's trying to hold on, and Manzano, Weeding now begins to make his move down the back stretch. He's in fifth place. Manzano, a training partner, he's in third from the left of the screen. Training partner of Shannon Rober, who just made the team. And look, Robbie Andrews now flying down the back stretch. He's just past Weeding. He's in the orange. And those two are going to hook up because they both like to come from behind. Centrowitz doing it the hard way from the front. It's a good position to be in, but it's harder to wind up your speed from the front. The guys coming from the back have a better shot. Centrowitz has the lead. Manzano is there. Andrew's trying to close, and so is Weeding. Here comes Manzano and Centrowitz. Manzano wins it. Centrowitz second. Weeding is third. Leo Manzano, the master of making teams. He's made the last four U.S. teams. Always seems to put himself in the right place at the right time. And he has that burst of speed that makes the difference in the home stretch. He'll have to wait to next week to find out if he's going to Tokyo. I have a lot of respect for the race, as you see Andrew Weeding, a crowd-pleasing third place for him. Centuitz went to the front.